Welcome back everybody to Leaning Into Lent, a special thing that we're doing here at Browncroft about how to really take the spiritual practices of our Christian faith seriously during this season where we really can do that a little more intentionally together as a congregation. And I have a friend with me today, right here from Browncroft, a friend, a coworker, Alex Welker, how are you? Good, how about you? Good, it's great to, great to have you here. And today we're talking about gratitude. And so, Alex, gratitude has been a part of your life and something that you really value. And that's why I, when I first started talking about this series together, you were like, oh, I like gratitude. I, I would speak on that. So I'm like, well, let's have Alex here <laughs> talking about gratitude. So for you, what does it look like to make gratitude a part of your life? So I think gratitude is something that's important to me because it's something that I struggled with when I was younger. Mm. I would come home and I would focus on everything that went wrong in like the day yeah. and how everything was terrible and that I needed to change things. Mm -hmm. So then my mom started sitting down at the table and before we left our dinner table, she said, you had to say one good thing about your day, one thing you were grateful for. So it was really yeah. small, but it really just affected my attitude and changed the outlook. And I knew that I was coming home and that I had to have my one good <laughs> thing from the day. <laughs> and you didn't feel like having a good thing from the day. Not, initially. Not always, not yeah. initially. It was something I had to work on. Gotcha. And then it was something I had to keep relearning throughout my life. Because right. when I went to college, my mom wasn't there to tell me, hey, tell me your one good thing from the day. So I forgot about listing my good things. Mm. And then I was reminded by a counselor to just list good things, list in a gratitude journal. And I started writing my things down. Wow, in a gratitude journal. Yeah, so I started listing, and I changed it from one to just three things okay. that I would list every day, the reasons that I was grateful for. And they could be silly, like I was grateful for my friends. I was grateful for food. Mm. Didn't have to be anything major, but just three positives and things that I was grateful for from that day yeah. and then it's been really cool over time to look back on it and just mm. see all the different things I've been grateful for and remember where I was before and where God has me now yeah wow that would be really significant so what has surprised you about that as you look back on some of those things that you were grateful for I think just the consistency and how like I'm thankful for my friends how I'm thankful for other people and just how even when I thought that there was not, when I look back at different times in my life that I thought that were terrible, how they really weren't so bad mm -hmm. and that some of the people have stayed the same oh. that have been there to support me. Yeah, yeah, it makes you more aware maybe. Right. Of some of those people that are there. Yes. Some of the gifts that God's given us that maybe we just look beyond. Definitely. Yeah. I can see how this practice is going to be really important for people to apply to our lives. Right. So if you think about Browncroft and us as a church engaging in this practice of gratitude for an entire week, what would it look like, do you think? Well, I think you could start with Browncroft just writing down what they are grateful for and mm -hmm. write your list, write your gratitude notebook and see what's going on in your life and then look back on it. Don't just, oh, I was grateful today for these things, but look back on them and see what you were grateful for at the beginning of the week compared to the end of the week. Yeah. And then it affects your mentality. It affects how you interact with people around you because you remember the one good thing you thought about them last night. Right, right, yeah, that's super practical. And I think even about the illustration that you used about your family, like we got lots of families at Browncroft, um, I think, it would be a great practice to do as a family. It's very yeah. simple, right? Yeah, you don't have to list three things. Yeah. You can just do one. Right. And even, I have a seven-year-old brother and he loves listing his thing that he says what his positive was. Yeah. Most of the time, just recess. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. And sometimes being thankful for recess is good enough. Yes. That's good. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Well, thanks, Alex, for sharing that with us. I think that gives me some things to really, you know, spur me to action over this course of this week. And I know it's probably doing the same for all of us. So I'm looking forward to being a church that's really focused on gratitude this yeah. week. Yeah, so whether you're writing things down, whether you're maybe sitting around the dinner table with your family, it doesn't have to be Thanksgiving to go around the table and say, I'm thankful for this, I'm thankful for that. 
We hope that you're applying these principles and this spiritual practice into your life this week. Hope to see you back here next week on Leaning In to Lent.